Good morning, parents. This is the second edition of Monday Morning Meditation. These are videos that are to help you in your parenting in the upcoming week. Our passage this morning is found in Joshua chapter 24. I'm going to start in verse 14, and it says there, Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Here Joshua is coming to the end of his life, and he's giving the people of Israel an ultimatum, whether they will serve the foreign gods in the land that they're dwelling in, or whether they will serve the God of Israel. Joshua himself has resolved to serve God. That's why he says there, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. He has made this resolve because he understands himself to be a recipient of grace. Because of all that God has done for him, therefore he resolves to serve the Lord. And this is the message that he's trying to teach the nation of Israel. And he does that by recounting for Israel their history and all that God has done for them. He starts with Abraham and how Abraham had worshipped foreign gods with his father and his father before them. But then God had took Abraham, called him out of the land, made him a sojourner in the land of Canaan. And then he had promised and given him offspring. So God gave to Abraham Isaac. And then to Isaac he gave Jacob and he gave Esau. And then Israel finds themselves in the land of Egypt, and they become slaves in the land of Egypt. And so God sends plagues on the land of Egypt, and he sends Moses and Aaron to come in to deliver the people of Israel out of Egypt. God initiates this work. God plans this work. God gives grace to the people of Israel. And then God sends them over the Jordan River into the Promised Land, uh, delivers many of the, their enemies into their hands, and then it says in verse 13 of chapter 24, you can look with me there. It says, I gave you a land on which you had not labored and cities that you had not built and you dwell in them. You eat the fruit of vineyards and olive orchards that you did not plant. None of these things Israel did, but God gave them all uh, into their hands. And out of this truth, in light of all this truth, then that's where it reads in verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. So, be in awe and tremble before God at all that he has done for you, all the grace that you have received. And out of this understanding of, of grace, therefore serve the Lord with fear and trembling. Uh, this message is also the message that we read of in the New Testament for us as well. Because we are recipients of grace, therefore we ought to resolve to serve the Lord. Therefore we ought to resolve into Christian parenting. And so one example is found in Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. It says there, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13, that God, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. Just as God delivered Israel out of Egypt and put them into the promised land, God has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son. What does it mean that he's delivered us from the domain of darkness? Well, it means that we could not see, that we did not know the righteous way, the path of life. It means that we could not see Christ. We did not therefore worship him and adore him as he's deserving. So we were in the domain of darkness. But then God, by his initiation and his grace, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son. And so now we can see God. We can see Jesus for who he really is and we worship him. And we can see the path of life, the way of life, and now we can follow it and walk in it. Uh, this is what it means to be transferred into the kingdom of, of his beloved son. And because we are receivers of this grace, then we ought to resolve to serve the Lord. We ought to resolve to Christian parenting. And what does you know, Christian parenting look like? What does resolve to service of the Lord mean? Well, it means that we conduct our lives and our parenting to honor the Lord. We commit to church on Sundays, right? We commit to God's people. We commit to modeling the faith for our children. We commit to teaching them the faith in word and in deed. And so what we seek to do is we do not seek to uh, be good parents in order to prove something to ourselves. 
We do not seek to be good parents in order to prove something to others. We seek to be good parents in service to the Lord because we are recipients of grace. May this week, may we uh, meditate on the grace that we have received in Jesus Christ. Uh, may this fill us up and empower us then to resolve to serve the Lord in fear and in trembling. Well, I hope this helps you this week. God bless. Thank you.